Hey guys, today what we have here is the Wax Ruby Headline. You know, actually it's a really classical movie headline made in China. You know, if you um, see the lighting from China, you must see this model. You know, it has been made in China for over seven years. It could be four in one, it could be five in one, it could be six in one with the UV. This movie has I have been sent to many countries and people have good comment on it. Let's check it out. Yeah, this movie has like a super classical watch movie has like. It has been delivered to many countries. And the clients have really good comment on this movie has like. You know, if you are doing the wedding, or doing the uh, wedding, or doing the parties, need the watch movie has like. This movie highlight would be suitable for you. Alright, yeah, let's look at the outside here. You know, it's the, with the um, plastic and the metal, metal arms, and the here is with the entire um, cooling metal pumps and with the cooling fan. Alright. And you can see here in the front, it is the uh, LCD display and the uh, DMS indicator. Alright, let's check the back side. You know, this movie headline is with the, um, <coughs> this kind of DC cable, but it could be made into the power cord if you want. Alright, so you can see a fuse here and the power switch and the DMS in and out. Right, yeah. I would say, you know, in my opinion, I like this movie a lot. Alright, let's get this movie light on power and see how it performs on the noise, on the watch, and on the channel. Yeah. Alright, I'll get this movie a on power and now putting on the switch. Yeah, now it's finished on the reset and you can see this moving headlight is smooth and you can hear the fan is working but not that noisy, you know, you can hear the fan just working. And you can see it here with the um, LCD display. Okay, let's check out on the software. Yeah, you can see now uh, the LCD display is powered up right now, you know, it's automatic power saving. You know, when I turn on this movie headlight, I could hear the fan, it is on work, but now the fan has stopped working. So, you could not hear any voice from this, any sounds from the fan. So, this fan is an uh, intelligent fan. I mean, the software, you know, have the setting on the fan. You know, when the temperature is not high, the fan will stop working, but when the temperature goes high, the fan will, will, will work. Yeah, this is a really good setting. And you can see now the DMX indicator is not on bright. That means that the moving headlight is not connecting with the DMX controller. So I get here with the menu. So the LCD display is on work and the DMX, DMX is also bright, all right? Okay, so guess I'm wrong. You know, maybe it connect with the controller, it will turn to another color. So now what I see is the white color on here, the DMS indicator. All right, I get it. The model. You see model menu store store, and the DMS address. So get enter here where you can see the address with the 001 to 512. Yep. So get back with the uh, pen inward and pen angle so yeah where you can set the pen moving angle so now we're setting into 530 yeah so you can, you can change change 600 and 600 to 50 yeah 
and the tail inverse and the mode 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 means the running mode and get into it so it got the DMX 512 and the automatic running mode and the sound mode and the slay mode DMX mode right so go back with the menu so menu means the um, menu operating of the moving headline so I go back with the restore and the model yeah this is the you know the resetting of the moving headline go back to factory resetting motor resetting yep the MS just so this is the software can intel pen angle take inward mode menu so the software is really simple really simple it's not really not complica complicated at all yep super simple it's not, nothing much yep nothing more all right so this is the software all right um i'm going to connect this moving head up the dms controller and see it's move moving and see it's color missing and see it's automatic running yeah let's check it out okay i'm connected moving head light with my little controller and set the address to zero zero one and you can see the dms indicator is on fresh right now so it means that it's connected well with the dms signal and now i put up the dmx controller and you can see that the DMX indicator have no action yet yeah, that means it's not connecting with the signal I put my control on again yeah you can see that it is a fresh alright so I get the address D01 and the channel 1 is the pen channel and channel 2 is the pen 5 yeah you just need to move a little bit and 3 is the tail yeah and the 4 is the tail 5 yeah you could see very little moving very little and you can see it's moving you know when it's moving I could hear the sounds from the pen so um, basically I could say it's not really bad the moving basically it is smooth but it's not really perfect like I would say it's not as perfect as the um, match we had like we saw two days ago but it's okay yeah it's not that really big noise from it I could say and it's not really more fast it's just in the normal way I would say it's just in the normal way right and the Channel 5 is the dimmer and channel 6 is the strong and channel 7 is the red. Alright, I get the dimmer up. Yep. So you can hear that you know when the light is on work, you hear the fan is on working. But you know before the light is not on bright, you could not hear any voice from the fan. So this is really good setting I have to say. Alright and get the red off get the green on on the channel A yep and channel 9 is blue and channel 10 is the white channel 11 is the room alright, get white on, right? get the room yep, get the room yep so, and channel 12 is the movement, movement speed and adjust, so okay, I get it I get now with the channel tap on and get the movement. You can see it just move very really, really slow. Very slow right now. Yeah, almost not feel it on the camera. Okay, I get the channel tap. See it's more fast, right? So this is the speed adjust on channel tap. Okay. And now the um yeah, you can see the LED is not a bright detect, it's stopped working right now, so it's really super good, I can say that. And the channel, channel 30 is the 
building color. Yeah. Every color. You see that? And building program, building color, building program. The channel 30. It's a dynamic effect, you know, it's not moving. No, it's static effect, yeah. It is static effect, it's not dynamic, so just solely color, color dropping, stroke, yeah, on channel 30. And channel 14 is the, you know, it's the dynamic effect, yeah, you know, it's, it's moving, alright. Yeah, this is all the channel videos on this movie headline. And now we're going to put the light on the wall and see this color mixing and see its dimming and see its brightness. Yeah. Okay, I have set this moving headlight into the single color white. Yeah, you could see the single color white is really good and I could see that, you know, and the light angle is, is cool. Yeah, I would say the light angle is cool. I'm going to set it in the room with the only color white and room. So you could see that this is the smallest angle. I get it on room again. So you can see that. I would say this is a really good watch movie headline. You know, the room angle is not bad. All right. I'm going to make it on the foot color, all right? So now uh, it's only the white on, okay? I get it blue on, yep. And get the green on, see that? And get the red on. Yeah. So this is on foot power right now, this moving headlight and getting room. Getting room. You know when you see in the room you could see a, a red spot there in the center because the light angle is really small. You know uh, you could see a red spot, you know, not really red, but you know a little bit of pink, a little bit pink in the center, but you know on the on the side here is with a little bit blue. Okay. Now getting the room on. So you can see how wide light angle it is. You know, I would say the color mixing is not bad on this movie headlight. You know, though you could see a little bit a little bit red on the side and not really, you know, just very very little bit red on the side. So I have to say, the color mix is not bad, and the light angle is really cool. And you know, the smooth, the moving on the room is really smooth, I have to say that. You know, um, it just could hear a little bit noise from the room motor with a little bit but not much, so I, I could say I could accept this, this sound from the room model and I would say the color is cool, All right? You see that? Really wide light angle, yep. And I get the white off. So this is RGBW for in one movie headlight, now I'm getting the W off and get it room. Yes, you know when I get the white off, you could see the color is turned to a little bit cold white. Alright, but when I get the W on, so the color temperature can turn a little bit warm. Yeah, warm white. Alright. So um, I get the blue off. So it turned to yellow and get the um, green up. So it go to the red. Yeah. 
You see that? Get green and you get a room. Yeah, this is what you see. You get the red right out, you get the blue on, you get the room. Yeah, I get the automatic color of the trailer. On channel 13. So it's changing color right now. Yeah, this is what you could see. It's really, really good watch movie headline, I would say. You know, it, it could be improved on the then I could say this movie headline almost perfect. Yeah. This is stroke. Different color selection. Yeah, this is it. I'm getting room on. Let me see. That's really beautiful. Okay, so this is the color mix and the moving. All right, I'm going to set this moving headlight on the other running mode on the channel 40. Yeah, so we change the angle. All right, this is the moving headlight you can see. I have to say, you know, um, if this move headline change it with a little bit better than I could say this movie headline is almost perfect. But you know, this movie headline has the intelligent fan, I mean the software, you know, when the LED is not a bright, the fan will stop working. So this is really cool. I have to say that. All right. Now I'm getting the automatic function out. Okay. You get it on the mirror, on the channel six. No, channel five. Yeah, get it on right again. You see? This is a fever. Right. Get it on right again. Yeah, this is a fever. Okay, yeah. Let's check the mirror on the wall. All right. I get into the room. Get into the room. So now you can see. And get on the mirror. Okay, I'm getting on bright.
Yeah, this is estimate. Right. You see that? Yeah. All right, this is the moving headlight you see today. All right, this is moving headlight we see today, and uh, I'm getting into the red car model right now, so you could hear any noise from it when the LED is not on work, so I really like it, super like it in this setting. I get it on red car again. Yeah, so the fan is on work, so now you hear the fan is working. But let's wait about 20 seconds and see what will happen. Yeah, good. Still hear the damage from work. And you can see the EMS indicator is um, fractured. That means it's kind of wrong with the EMS signal. And the fan is still working. Yeah, could still hear the now we stop. So it's about like one minute or yeah, it's about like half minute or between half a minute to one minute the fan will automatically turn off. So this is really cool, I have to say this is really cool setting, you know. And I have to say this movie her life, you know, is really good, I have to say, you know, it is super stable and the colour is not bad, you know. As I always said, you know, the fan is a problem in all public models we have like. But, you know, if they could have the setting like this, I'm super satisfied. And, you know, if the factory could be make a little bit improve on the fan, you know, maybe a little bit super good color fan, so this movie light could be wonderful. Alright, this is the movie light we have today. As I said, it is a really classical movie headlight and it has been made for over seven years. I have to say this is a really good watch movie headlight that you use on the wedding, on the car show, or on the radio, you know, it, it would be perfect for you, I would say that. You know, I talked to my dad and I said to him, I'm filming the video for the trial lightings and he is really happy and he sent me this kind of, you know, uh, big lights, you know, 